Good afternoon, everybody, and a warm welcome from the BT Sports studios. Today, the formal announcement of the fight of the year. Deontay Wilder, the WBC World Heavyweight Champion, to defend his crown against Britain's Tyson Fury in Los Angeles on December the 1st. We'll meet the fighters shortly. We've got so much to squeeze in over the next half hour or so. But first, I'm going to introduce you to the people who have put this wonderful event together. So I'd like to introduce first and ask Frank Warren, promoter of Tyson Fury, to join us on the stage. Along with the men we welcome from the United States, Lou DeBella and Shelley Finkel, representing Deontay Wilder. Gentlemen, please. Great to have you all here today, gentlemen. Thank you very much indeed, and we will be speaking to you about how it all came together as we go through the show today. But first, from the TV perspective, equally important, because without them we are nothing, let's be quite honest, let's get a word with two of the very important movers and shakers behind putting this deal together. So I'd like to welcome onto the stage Andy Howarth, who's the Director of Content and Strategy for BT Consumer, and again from the United States, a very warm welcome to Stephen Espinosa, the CEO of Showtime, our American TV colleagues. Gentlemen. Welcome both. Andy, nice to see you again. Stephen, welcome. Nice Thank to see you. you. Thank you. May I come to you first? Of course. BT Sport box office, part of another hugely successful story in 2018 so far for us, for our channels and for what we're trying to do here. But what does this fight represent? Well, firstly, it's fantastic to, have, to be able to host everybody here today at the BT Sports Studio for what is the first leg of a three-leg tour to promote the fantastic Wilder Fury fight. It's hard to believe that it was only several weeks ago that we had our first fight. We launched BT Sport Box Office with a mouth-watering clash between Triple G and Canelo. So this will be our second fight. And what a fight. It's the fight that everyone is talking about everyone wants to see and that everyone will tune in for. Yes, we very much hope so, and uh, I think we, we can almost take it for granted. But just uh, on the, you mentioned that wonderful middleweight fight, but in your view, does the heavyweight division add something extra? Uh, absolutely, yes. It, as I said, it's the fight that, that uh, boxing aficionados, but also the general public wants to see, and it will be live on BT Sport Box Office on December the 1st. And of course, it's an absolute privilege to have both of these great personalities here today, guaranteed to deliver excitement inside and outside the ring. But not too much, because it's only day one here. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Uh, obviously, Stephen, you've been doing this for quite some time. And this is, a th a, what, a three-legged tour, starting in London, and then you go to New York and Los Angeles. So how does it look from the Showtime perspective? Well, it's a fight that has captivated America and will captivate America. We have two really mythical figures. That's what people love about the heavyweight division is they're almost superheroes. And in, in particular, these two individuals are the two largest men in the heavyweight division. And, and I mean that in a physical sense as well as their personality. Six, nine, and six, seven. Six, nine, six, seven. We're going to need a high canopy, aren't we? We, we are indeed with uh, personalities that are even bigger. So I, uh, on paper, in the ring, on the press tour, it's, it's a phenomenal matchup. Well, let's hope that uh, it does live up to the expectation we all have for it. I think there's every guarantee of a history fight in so many, so many dimensions. For sure, we can say it is the fight of 2018. And so, ladies and gentlemen, the man who was the undisputed world heavyweight champion, the linear champion, undefeated, 
and now back to try to reclaim what he says was his, please welcome Tyson Fury. Welcome, Tyson. And so, ladies and gentlemen, the other half of this mega fight, please give a very warm welcome from the United States to the reigning and undefeated WBC World Heavyweight Champion, Deontay Wilder. So, gentlemen, please take your seats. Welcome both. <laughs> Deontay, great to have you over here once more. I know you've been uh, back and forth campaigning for a huge fight opportunity, and it's come at last. If you'll permit us, first, we'll go to your challenger on this occasion. I think I understood what you just did. You stood there and took in what was going on here. This is two years on from the point where you appeared, Tyson, ready to lose everything. Are you savoring here being back? Just a little correction there for you. I am no challenger for no man. I am the lineal heavyweight champion of the world. That means I'm the best of the best, the elite champion. So, this is two champions colliding. I'm challenging for nothing or nobody. This is equal rights champion versus champion. So rephrase and start again, please. Because I'm not happy with what you've just said. I'll stand corrected, no problem. Thank you I did also, much. I did also... <laughs> and I did also call you the linear champion of the world. You did notice that, I hope. No, I didn't notice it. Well, I did say it. On the, on the question I asked, are you savouring this today because of what you've been through over the last 18 months, two years? Do you know what? I'm savouring nothing. The only thing I'm savouring is smashing Deontay Wilder's teeth in. That's it. You know, I come here today, all the press have turned up. The world press is here. Showtime, BT Sport, UK and American press. They're here to see the biggest fight of our generation between two undefeated giants. And boy, are you going to get a fight. You're in for a real treat. Don't worry about that. Because I'm in the mood for no messing and no running round rings and dancing from nobody. No 15 stone man, like I said before in New York. There's not a 15 stone man on the planet can beat Tyson Fury. <coughs> and I will stand and prove what I will do to this idiot. I will punch its face right in for it. Not a problem. Seven days a week and twice on a Sunday. If we fought 30 times, I'd win 30 times. That's how confident I am of beating Deontay Wilder. No problem. Thank you, Tyson. 
Anyway, a warm welcome to our shores, Deontay. You've been through this once or twice before, I know. From your perspective, as an American, a, a flag bearer for the United States, once clearly the dominant force in heavyweight championship boxing, you've been standing on your own for a few years. So how important is it to you that you establish dominance now? It's very important to me. You know, uh, I say so many things in this sport. I say I'm the best. I say I hit the hardest. I say I'm the baddest man on the planet. And I believe every word that I say. When I say I'm going to knock a man out and I tell him where he may lay and how he may lay, it comes to pass. So when it comes to Tyson Fury, I definitely, I, I, you know, I'm all about devastating knockouts. That's what I do. It, it's no pressure on me to do anything. I say I'm, what I'm going to do. I know I'm going to do what I'm going to do. You just got to be there to witness it. It's just the time just got to pass by. He got, two, he got two months to get ready. He done lost a lot of weight. He got to lose a little bit more. I already know what he's thinking. He, he know he's going to get knocked out. He know he is. So he can hoop. He can holler. He can build himself up. He can build the confidence. And he need to take my advice and speak and believe and receive it. It'll help him out a little bit more. He need to meditate on this situation because he's going to feel pain that he never felt before. <laughs> This has been a build-up. Everything, everything that I've been going through up to this point now, the feelings, the frustration that I have right now, you know, so many people think, well, it should be this, it should be that. You should be doing this, you should be doing that. Some people don't even think I should be fighting him at this point in time right now, whether they want to see another fight or whether they feel like he's not ready. But we can't live off of others' opinion. If it left up to others, nothing would never happen. But I can't wait. Y'all know, know when it's, when it's time to come and see a Deontay Wilder fight. Y'all only come and see one thing. Let's not, mistake, let's not be mistaken. You only come and see one thing. The thing is, you're and not ready for me, that's me knocking somebody ball. out. You ain't ready. So the 41st person that's going to be knocked out, you're looking at the man right here. The only thing is, though, you're looking at the problem, Palmer, the big daughter, is you ain't ready for me. And you never have been. You never will be. You, you, all your knockout power and 10 men in that ring on the night can't beat Tyson Fury. I'm going to make you fuck yourself. Uh, you I have to power. actually step in and say, and re ask listen, you to listen, yeah. Okay? This, this, the, the antics that you're talking about, it's, it's not going to work against me. I'm listen, not Klitschko. It, this is not listen, Klitschko. I know you know this, is Deontay Deontay Wilder. this is Deontay Look, Wilder. We're in this is Deontay Wilder. This is Deontay Wilder. All that calling, you know, it, it's only going to go so far because when matter. I get you in the you ring. You ain't ready. When I get you in the ring and that bell say ding. You're useless. Oh, and if I can't dude. beat you, I'll kiss you too. You ever seen a tree floor. fall over timber? I'll give you some little midget get smashed That's going to be your right body. Now. That's going to be it, your it, body. Stone Jack. That's going to be Busted. your body. You're going to be like a tree. I'll pop you like a balloon. I'll make you quit. You Jack. you got no heart and no nuts. Nice start, yeah, gentlemen. It's going to be a long promotional tour, so just keep a little bit back. Listen, and you ain't ready. You're never going to be ready. Mm. Your managers know you're not ready. Your lawyer knows you're not ready. Mm. That bald headed fella at the side here, he knows you're not ready. Mm. Whoever he is, all bald dead there. <laughs> On the end. It's good work. It's still only just after <laughs> midday. Well, Thank you, Tyson. You ain't ready! You're not ready, Dosser, are you? Man, some water. You big bum! Or oh, ice pack, because you got an eel head right now. Yeah, I've got, I will have eel fists in a minute if you keep on. He's going to have a knot on his head. I will just uh, also extend a further apology for the language you've went too far. We apologise completely for that. I want to welcome the man on the end, Lou DiBella, because Lou is actually a man who's been in this business an incredibly long time. And you have, I was just trying to remember, I think you've probably promoted top history fights in every weight division from bantamweight up, actually, over, over the last two and a half, three decades. So this as a heavyweight fight, what does it mean in your mind? Well, it's been a long time since the heavyweight division has had two giants like this, two champions at the top of their game, at the top of their division, willing to fight one another and making it happen. It's not rocket science making a fight. And the young man to my, my left over here spent a whole lot of time working on making another fight with a guy from this very country, your, your country, who didn't want to fight. But when there was an opportunity, when that man came back and cleared himself up and got back in the ring and got himself into the shape he's in, Shelley and Frank were able to make this fight very quickly. And what do you because think when two great champions want to fight, the fight happens. 
And that's why December 1 is happening. And on December 1, when the Gypsy King fights the Bronze Bomber, the lineal heavyweight champion fights the hardest punching heavyweight in the world, the BC heavyweight champion, we're going to know right then and there who the best heavyweight on the planet is until proven otherwise. And the winner of this fight on December 1 will be the best heavyweight on the planet. And because you know the business and the game so well, what do you think of what he's done in his career so far, Tyson Fury? You know, he, he's, an ama he's an interesting cat, and he's had an amazing ride, and he's had to overcome a lot of adversity. And, um, and I think Baldy over there should be proud of himself for getting <laughs> his life together and being able to turn things around, and what he's done in the last six months has been rather remarkable. I have tremendous admiration for that guy, and I'm still going to admire, going to admire him after he gets knocked out on December 1. And I think you've got more chance of going to fall out of air back, Baldy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're all challenged in certain ways. <laughs> Next to Shelley Finkel. Shelley. Hi, everyone. Um, I have nothing but respect for our challenger, Fury. I'm not that, a challenger. Refrain. Okay. Uh, to, Refrain. Uh, I will restate. To the lineal champion, yes. who, when I was handling Klitschko, did not think he had a chance. He proved me wrong. He's not going to prove me wrong twice. And that will be shown on December 1 when Deontay takes care of business. I'll always prove you wrong, because that's what I do. I prove people wrong. No matter how many times, once, twice, three, ten, sixteen times, no matter who you bring, I will fold. This man ain't got a prayer. He's living on a prayer. That's all he's living on. He's living in the hope and prayer well, that the two words. and a half year out, well, I'm full. But man. I ain't. Well, I I'm back. I'm better than ever. I've never been as quick. I've never been as powerful. I've never been as explosive. I lead a people Sunday to say a prayer. You're only you. banking on me having two fights in three years. Or else you wouldn't have took the fight. That's the only reason you took this fight. Because you think I'm done. No. No, no, I don't think I ain't done, pal. Uh, I don't think you're done. I, I don't want you to be ring. done. I don't get no gratification of you being done. I want you where you, it's, where, where you feel like you mentally can beat me. I I've already like beat you. you. You've already that's lost. That's what I fear. Never. You've already lost. Never. I can tell you. You can tell lost. by the demeanor. You can tell by the. I can the, tell the, by the, the posture. Of you've lost yourself. already. You're doing a hell of a lot of talking, Mister. Yeah, you've lost, Mister. Never. Hundred percent. In what competition? I can tell you're afraid in of me already. In what competition? You're afraid to death. Have you ever looked game. into a killer's eyes before, Tyson? Yes, I have. I'm looking you know, at a very, pussycat, not you know, a killer. Very calm, ain't they? I've looked at they're, plenty of they're, killers, they're very Paul. Calm, ain't plenty of them. Very and they calm, don't look like you. Very. That's for sure. Very. Killer never and, stands and, out and, like and you. And do. We, we go killer out don't dress like you do. I don't. I don't have to. Killer don't act like you do. I know. I'm a serious one. Killer's a silent assassin. Not like you. I'm a serious one. I tell you what You're I'm gonna do no before action. I dismantle you. You're so you from, already know what to expect that's gonna Vegas, come upon you. you. And when they do come upon no you, substance. I'm gonna say, I told you. All from to no substance. I told you. A big hollow shell in a six foot seven frame. I told you. And when he gets one big hook up the body and one over the top, it'll crumble like an old dosser in the middle of the ring. What is this? And I look over him. I look over him and say, I told you all, I am the greatest. Tyson, I want to correct one thing. We didn't pick to fight you or you to fight us because we thought you were easy. We believe you're the best out there. Do you? Yes. And that's why we want to fight the best and only the best. And we have nothing but respect because your countryman didn't have the guts to step up like you did. He was offered a fortune to fight, the fortune that he asked for, and when it was presented, he said no. And Frank said to me, why don't we make it with Tyson Fury? I said, oh, you're kidding. Would he really want to? And I commend you. You stepped right up. There was no question about it. We went through the procedure quickly, and now we have a fight that the promoter of the other person said, oh, no, this fight won't happen. I thank you for being with us. On which on. moment, I think we should turn to Frank <coughs> Warren. Frank. Well, the fight is happening, contrary to what everybody, or not everybody, some people are saying. <laughs> and it is the two best. They're the best because they're willing to step in the ring together. And that's what great fighters do. That's what they do. The lineal champion fighting the BC champion, both undefeated. And we are going to see something special on the 1st of December. I think it's going to be a fight that nobody expects. This is not going to be cat and mouse. This is going to be a war. As soon as that bell goes, 
it's going to be a war. I know what this man brings to the ring. I know what he wants to do. His mentality is a fighter's mentality. Not trying to duck out through contracts, backdoor methods and whatever. He wanted to fight. And Shelley and I worked together along with his team to make this happen. And it's happening and you cannot miss it. You are going to see a special heavyweight fight. One of the best heavyweight fights for a long, long time. And this guy, the traveller that he is, is travelling yet again into the other guy's backyard like he did when he went to Germany and he took Klitschko to school to take, off, take the titles off of Deontay. And I tell you, do not miss it. You're a boxing fan. You want to see this. You buy it. It's on pay-per-view. If you don't fly to see it, buy it on BT pay-per-view and obviously in the States on Showtime. This is a fight you cannot afford to miss. It's going to be a great one. Thank you, Frank. For uh, the members of the press, there will be an opportunity later for you all, but we can invite some questions from the floor. And I just ask you, obviously, to raise your hand and maybe just uh, identify yourself and, and which paper you're representing or which outlet. <coughs> Hello. Uh, I have a question for Dionte. Um, besides holding one or more belts into, your, into a division, what criteria should a fighter meet in order to have a legitimate claim to be the number one champion in the same division? And do you feel you are that in the heavyweights, or do you feel you need to beat Tyson to become it? I think you're already number one in the heavyweights. So what, what does it take to be number one in the heavyweights? I definitely think I'm number one, for sure. I wouldn't be here. You know, I wouldn't be boxing if I, don't feel, if I didn't feel like I was the best. And you said, what did it take? What is going to take to beat him? What was the last question? I asked, uh, do, you f do you already feel you are the number one in the division, or do you think you need to beat him to make that claim? Oh, no, I feel like I'm the best. I feel like I'm at the cream of the crop. I feel like they got to catch up with He feels like he's the this. best, but his manager just said, I'm the best. With me. So I don't know what's gotta, going on. They got to catch up with me. Between them. I can't wait. I can't wait. You know, Throw yourself out, lads. So Come on. I'm not, I'm not worrying about no one else or no other fighters or what they're saying or what they're what they hyping themselves up to be. I already know I'm the part. I already know what I'm coming to do. I already know what I represent, what I stand for. All, all y'all got to do is tune in. Click that button. Buy that pay-per-view. You're going to see something. I'm about to put them in the oven and make a muffin. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sounds painful. I've got a question for Wilder's team. I'd like to just clear something up. The manager just said, I'm the best. Wilder says he's the best, so I'm going to ask you who is the best. Who's the best? You're the You're second the best. Best. Man, best man fighting him. <laughs> so I'm the best man, or is he the best man? You're the, we'll figure but, it out on December 1, won't we? No, I want to know, because you said I'm the best, and he says he's the best. So I, I believe... And I, I want to know who's the best. I believe Deontay is the best. You're the best man we could fight, and we wanted to fight the best. Fantastic. Great for clarification. But you knew this already. You didn't need clarification <laughs> for that. I did. I didn't need clarification yeah, did. because on, he was contradicting You ain't got no hair on your head. Like. It's all satellite. Get your story straight, boys. <laughs> all satellite. You'd make a good news editor, you would. I would. Next question. <laughs> uh, no, I, 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 Luis Ortiz was that. Tyson Fury, I haven't fought him yet. So it's, 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 it's still to be known. We're going to see December the 1st, though. That's why we're here. And I can't wait. You in for a treat. Everyone is in for a treat. <laughs> I, will, I want to make this my, my, my most devastating knockout that I've ever done in my career. Dream on. Dream on. Hey, dreams come true. Rarely. Hey, they still come true. All you got to do is have nightmares. a good belief. Nightmares happen. You got to believe, you know. baby. You got to believe. You got to believe. He says Lewis Ortiz is his best opponent. The man's 49 year old. Hey. I nearly knocked him's back out as well. Hey, it's just like a woman. It ain't about the, it ain't about the size. It's the motion in the ocean, baby. I didn't say anything about size. Well, hey, I had, to do, I had to show it's you some kind of descript, the, um, the describe the situation. You're talking Lewis about Ortiz the man's age. 49 year old. You're all about how you feel, yeah. baby. Age ain't nothing but a number. Down in. You feel me? It's all about so how you feel. If that's your best opponent, you're in trouble, Bob. It's all 100%. about how you feel. I'm 49, I'm 29. Well, I'm 30 now, actually. So, still a big gap, that. 19 years different. We're just going to run a microphone into the middle section of our audience because the next questioner is waiting, keenly poised. And maybe we can start running. Rob, in the middle. 
Mm. Just put your hand up. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. Tyson, um, why have you decided to take this fight, having had so few fights? Is that of any in, in recent years? Is that any concern to you? And what's the... No concern at all. Mm. If you can fight, you can mm. fight. Mm. If you can fight, you can fight. And if you're not, you're not. Mm. That's it. The thing is, I picked this fight. I said to Frank, get me that fight made. <laughs> so, and that's how it is. Frank's made the fight, and it's wrong. I could have fought another ten bombs if I wanted to. No one forced me to fight Deontay Wilder. I picked Deontay Wilder because I believe he's an easy touch. I believe he's a lemon and I'm going to squeeze him nice and hard. So, so why, so, 100%. So, uh, so why, so why it took so Listen, long? Listen, I'm going to make lemonade so out of this. So why did it take so long? Why, you, why it take so long? It didn't take so long. Yes, it, it did. You minutes. know, come on, you know good well, you know good and well. It took two minutes. Two minutes? Yeah. Yeah, of this time. We talking about the past. Why it took so long for this very moment? I've been back six months. I could have been baptized you a long time ago. Six months ain't a long time. I've been out for a year, six months, and I've challenged you. I'm Tyson. coming to you to challenge you and beat you. I punch we, your face in. How, how long? We've been talking about this for years, baby. We could have been, been, been a shit house. Yeah, I could have baptized you for years. It took you years to build up yeah, your courage, haven't it? You could have felt this pain, baby. You could, have felt, you could have felt this hammer for Alabama. Listen, I want to know. Tell me about this punching power anyway. Tell you going to feel it? 39 You're going to feel it personally. Uh, no, I want to know. You're going to feel it personally. Yeah? You're going to feel it personally. Well, can well, we have a little spar now? It's going to be just like that. fire. You can feel it in your Let's have a little tickle. Come on. Let me feel this power on the Alabama Hey. Come on, Don't get up. Are you serious? Let's you have ready? a little body spark. Come on, you I want to feel it. Hey, let's do it then. Shit. I'm always for it. I'm always for it. Frank, you back. Ready? Yeah, I'm out. always for it. I'm ready when you are. Big let's, go, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on, then. Let's go. Oh, Frank, I want, to hear, I want to feel that power. I'm going I'm to I'm show you the full. I want to feel the power. I'm going to show you the full. And you're going to feel the fury. You're not going to feel no power. I'm going to show you the Come on. I'm going to show you the full. Come on. I'm gonna show you. Your wife pushes hard in that, you little you bitch. Fool. I'm gonna show you the full Come on. Man. I'm gonna show nothing. you the full man. This ain't That's no game. Pathetic. The mentality. I wanna feel the power. No it's gotten serious. This is the first part. It's getting yeah. serious. The manifestation. You never even had the nuts to stick out did you? You understand you what pussy. I'm saying? It is starting. I wanna feel it. This is no game. Feel. At this point, it's no I, game. I don't play this games, Dustin. real. I want to play. As you say, we are the come press come. This is a real fight. Come on. We are listen, announcing this fight is on. Listen. So at this point listen. in time, my mind is on the time. So I on that night of the power. fight, you're going to feel every power you need to feel. You're going to feel everything go. you need to feel. Let's have a tickle. Come, come on. on. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, Let's do it. Listen, please, let's have a spa. Will you invite me Let's give the fans a warm up of what they want. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to give these people a preview. Come on, then. Of what it's going to be. Hey, let's make it happen. Come on, let's, let's, step back. let's make it happen. Listen, everyone step back. Let's, let's have a spot. No, no, no. Let's no, make it happen. No, 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 no. You feel me? Save it all for the first. Let's Tickets watch. go on sale on Wednesday, by the way. <laughs> it's getting real, baby. Listen, you've got no bottle. It's getting real, no baby. No bottle. You're a bottle job. Hey. I stood right in front of you. I said, hit me. You what? wouldn't even have a spa, you big dosser. What am I going to hit you for? I want a body what spa. I'm going gonna, gonna to show you a hit yeah. when it's time. Yeah, I want it now. I'm going to show you a Put hit. Put one right there, you big shit I'm gonna show, go If on. I hurt you now, then I can't have you December the 1st. That, it bounce off you. You know what I'm saying? Then they can't click bomb. that button. Boom. They can't, they can't click that button to see it come Listen, December the 1st. Listen, you think it's a game, D.I.? Because if joking, I hit you right now... I'm going to punch your face in. Hey. Right. There ain't no playing here. Right, come listen down, I don't boy. play games, especially not with bums like you. You've got power of you. You think you can hit a bit? Let me feel it. Let me feel that power, boy! OK, Tyson, awesome. we're coming off the air now, so you've done oh, your you cell. Thank you very much. It. Please sit, sit down. You're gonna feel Thank it. you. I feel ten here. You're going to feel Frank, it. Frank, can we ask him to sit down? All right my frustrations. Big old ball that there. All, all my frustrations. All the trials and tribulations. Everything I've been through. You'll feel. You'll you feel the wrath. It's going to come from my feet. Coming off the now. Hell has no fury like Tyson. And I'm going to do. I might. I might come there with a ball. Ask you to sit down, gentlemen, so we can close the show. Thank you very much. Are you just a British dosser? You are. That's what you was. Just a sit down. You You're a big bomb. American dosser. You bomb squad. You bomb. You big bomb. I'm going to knock you out. You I'm bomb. bomb. Timber. I'm going to show. We're going to see who's the real bomb. Sit down, guys. Sit down, down guys. guys. I have more well-ordered children at home than this. Sit down. Thank you very Trust much. Me. I want to feel the power. You, you will. will do. Well, sit down. I want to feel it here in the airport on the plane. I want to feel it, you big dosser. Okay, and ladies and gentlemen. And the reaction that we're going to give when your body is shaving sit. all over the pavement. Please sit, Dante. Thank interesting. you very Don't much. About it. I'm going to put you, you on a highlight reel. I'm going to add you to one of my highlight reels. I'm sure you're studying them right now. 
Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to close right. it here with one no further power. apology for some He's of the very no distasteful right. language. It was like a child Thank you very much right. for joining us here today. We hope for a great fight. It certainly will be a history fight. And uh, I just think maybe we should save a little bit of gas because there's two weeks of this to go. All right? Yeah! Bring Thank it on! Thank you indeed, everybody. A couple of final reminders. Uh, we have a couple more interviews to take care of as well, but there will be a chance for the national press to talk to the fighters in more detail and, of course, for the photographers. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today here at BT Sport. You better go ring up Peter. You're going to need him. You're going to need him. If, you, if, 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 you, if you're thinking about the win over Klitschko and comparing it to me, you better go get Peter Fee. You, you ain't half the man Klitschko You better Klitschko go get Peter. Klitschko was a if world champion That was your best fight of fighting Klitschko and you, you got seven and you hand hand five bombs. doing that. Right. And that was the training. They can't do it, right. They were hand-picked bombs.